Happen reports on the 28th of August 2023. Hello, I'm Kyle Rudder, and in this week's bonus edition of Investor Spotlight, we look at the company's recent performance, preview its interim results, and discuss the investment case of the stock. Appen shares have been a perennial disappointment in the past two years. Following the burst of the pandemic everything bubble, the stock has lost more than 95% of its value. For the most part, this is an interest rate story. Appen sits squarely in the category of a speculative growth stock with the prospect of sustained profitability far off into the future. Because of this, higher interest rates, specifically yields on long dated government bonds, compress the company's valuations as the higher discount rate reduces the present value of highly volatile future cash flows. In May, the company held its annual general meeting and discussed the challenging market backdrop for the global technology sector. Chairperson Richard Friedenstein said the business would undergo a reset, which included realigning its cost structure with its revenue outlook, raising capital to support its strategy and narrowing its focus on generative artificial intelligence. Appen is expected to deliver another disappointing set of results when it hands down its interim numbers. Revenue was forecast to slide a further 21.5% from a year earlier and drop from $205 million in the second half of FY 2022 to $143 million in the first half of FY 23. The company's net loss for the period is forecast to narrow to $35 million. However, that number is distorted by a one-off impairment charge in the previous financial year. Analysts expect the business will remain in a loss-making position for FY23. Of course, no dividend will be paid. Given the business is practically back to square one, the likely goal of management and the critical focus from investors will be Appen's strategic outlook. With the hype surrounding artificial intelligence and its growth prospects, Appen's future success will hinge on how it can position itself to benefit from this trend. That will likely entail assessing the company's capacity to leverage its platform for this purpose, proving that it is expanding its customer base and creating operating leverage to scale up and grow the business. Ultimately, the investment case for Appen is predicated on the believing of the market that the company is wrong about the company's growth prospects and that it has a product that can drive strong and sustainable sales. Appen's share price is currently trading at sales and earnings multiples below one times, implying that the top and bottom lines will continue to shrink. A saleable narrative and executable strategy from management may reverse this trend. Eventually though, the company must prove it is arresting this slide. This widespread negativity towards app and shares. Analysts are neutral on the stock according to data compiled by Reuters. However, that's with a bearish skew, with the consensus rating a hold, but with seven analysts recommending that action, four suggesting a sell and one a strong sell. The consensus price target is at a premium to current prices at $2.31. Meanwhile, IG's clients are profoundly bullish on the stock, although that could be a contrarian signal. 96% of clients are long app and shares, while 4% are short, reflecting the retail trader bias to counter trend. The technicals convey the major bearishness towards app and shares. In the long term, the the stock is in a downtrend. In the short term, it is grinding lower and trading within a downward trend channel. Technical support could be found around the psychological level of $2 per share. Sellers have emerged at the 20-day moving average. A break above that level could see a run towards $2.50. 